In this lesson, we'll learn how to determine the algebraic and geometric multiplicity of a matrix. The theorem for geometric and algebraic multiplicity is shown underneath. The first point says that if we have a matrix A, for every eigenvalue, the geometric multiplicity is less than or equal to the algebraic multiplicity. So you can't have more eigenvectors than the number of times the eigenvalue occurs. For part B, A is diagonalizable if and only if the geometric multiplicity is equal to the algebraic multiplicity for every eigenvalue. So each eigenvalue produces enough eigenvectors. If, for example, the delta value is 2 and it occurs 7 times, you need 7 eigenvectors for it. With that being said, we have the two questions underneath. For the matrices below, determine the algebraic and geometric multiplicity for their eigenvalues. The eigenvalues here are 2 and 3 repeated. For this one, it's 5 and 2 repeated. In order for you to fill these in properly, you need to substitute these values back into the expression i minus delta times its identity, that's the eigenvalue, and then reduce that into row echelon form. Once you do that, you can then find the eigenvectors. For an eigenvalue of 2, the algebraic multiplicity is how many times it repeats. It repeats once, and it actually happened to produce one eigenvector. That's the geometric multiplicity. I know that it produces one eigenvector because we did this example in one of our previous videos and we found out that it actually produced one. So I'm referencing that video to assist us filling these out. Three repeated twice and it produced two vectors. With this one, if you happen to do the same process, five repeats once and two repeats twice, except when you substitute the eigenvalue of two and get that row reduced echelon form, you end up with only one eigenvector, which is one shy of the algebraic multiplicity. That's an issue. The geometric multiplicity for this one it happens to be one, so they're equal. This tells us right away if these matrices are diagonalizable. The algebraic multiplicity must equal to the geometric multiplicity for every eigenvalue. And that happens here. But for the other one, it doesn't happen. When the eigenvalue is 2, the algebraic multiplicity does not equal to the geometric one. So right away we know that B is not diagonalizable. And so there you have it. That is how to determine the algebraic and geometric multiplicity of a matrix to determine if it is diagonalizable.